morning, we're going to be talking about a man named Solomon. Anybody familiar with Solomon? You know what he did for a living? What was different about him from everybody else? What did he do for a living? He was king of Israel. And he was different from all the other kings. Remember why? He was wise. He had wisdom from God. And when he became king, God said, ask for whatever you want. He said, I want to be wise. And God said, I'm going to make you so wise, no one before you and no one after you will be able to match you with him. Now, some people didn't believe that. Queen of Sheba was one of them, so she came to test him. But what we want to think about is the, the difference between the wisdom that we can generate and the, dip, and the wisdom that God gives. Because we know some pretty smart people. I mean, they get how things run, and they know how things should be, and they're really wise. So what I did is I brought a couple of flashlights. They look kind of the same. Well, not exactly the same. They're about the same size, though. But there's a difference in how brightly they shine. And we're going to say wisdom is like these. And when you have man's wisdom, you can see the light here. And if you were in the dark, that would have helped with it. But there's a difference between man, man's wisdom and God's wisdom. God's wisdom is a little brighter. You see the difference there? So, if you need the light in a dark place, would you rather have this one or that one? Would you rather have this one? I would you I'd rather have this one. Oh, it's so much brighter. In fact, it's so bright that when we shine them in the same place, you can't even see man. You move it away, oh, there it is. You can tell it's on, but boy, when you put God's wisdom on there, it just disappears. You do have to put it in. Did you put it Oh, not, okay. So, when we talk about the wisdom that God gave to Solomon, which one do you think it is? you think God gave Solomon this kind of wisdom, or this kind of wisdom? How many people think this kind of wisdom? How many people think this kind of wisdom? Exactly. And when we come to Jesus, and when God gives us faith, which kind of wisdom do you think we have? This one. Exactly. Because we want to live by God's wisdom. Not what we think is right. Because what we think is right, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In fact, a lot of times it doesn't. But when God says, this is right and this is good, it always is. And you know what God said the greatest good is? He came to take away your sins. And he came to make you his very own. So we belong to Jesus. And not only has he given us this kind of wisdom, he's also made us family. So we can celebrate that Jesus came for us. Would you fold your hand? And let's thank you. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to be my Savior. Thank you for calling me and giving me faith. Thank you for the wisdom you've given me. Teach me to learn and to live 